Right, we got a bit of a, a plan today. I was playing uh, Sabotar yesterday, and I had a lot of fun with it. And today I'm going to try and make the deck a little bit more playable. Not that it's good, but I want to make it at least at least uh, playable for me. Right, what's wrong with this zip? There we go. Welcome all. Oh, I've just been informed. Oh, there's a nerf or a change. So druids are getting hit. That's uh, that's cool, I guess. Right. So oh. let me have a little read of this now. We we'll get set up here. Mm -hmm. Hope everyone's doing well today. Jewels today? Probably not jewels. Uh, it's uh, Sabotar, though. So this should be fun. Uh, right. So Rake to Embrace Nature to um, Yog, obviously, is a big rework. And then we've got Rework and a Rework, which is unusual. They don't usually really rework cards like this. Because it's effectively a new card. So Tony is the exact stat line of Benedictus. Except it doesn't copy, but it, re it replaces your deck with theirs. So it's a unique, neutral card. It's not as... Uh, arguably not as good as Tony is for Priest. Because it doesn't uh, protect as much against Fatigue. But it's okay. And then Jail has been reworked to immune only on this minion. And this only does two damage now, instead of three. Okay. Start playing with ETC. Wait, what? I already have ETC. Uh, yeah, Yog. Yog's gone down a bit. Oh, you like the shirt? I think I got this from Matalan. <laughs> this is a Matalan special that was on sale. Uh, what happened to Yog? So Yog can't be discounted anymore. It's always nine mana. Uh, and every time you play uh, one of its abilities, it casts two random spells. So it's more in line with the actual... What old Yog used to do. So, yesterday, let me move this deck up to the top. Yesterday, I was trying out this Sabotar deck. Oh, the game's not working. Oh, okay, no, there it is. Is Tony worth for recraft? I don't know, we'll, we'll test Tony out at some point today. Tony's an interesting um, rework. And it's unbanned. I guess it's unbanned in wild now. Is that correct? I imagine it would be because it's. Yeah. It's playable in wild. Okay. Because it was previously banned. I'm going to probably throw in one gear shift. Actually, should I throw two gear shifts in? Or maybe gear slash. Because I still need a, a way to like win at the end of the match. Maybe espionage. Right, we'll test a few a few uh, ways to play in this deck out. Quake stream win. Yeah, I was playing Quake on a, a... Was it yesterday or two days ago? We'll play it at the end of the stream. Uh, so if you're, not, if you're not able to stick around, you can catch it on the end of the VOD. But I'll play Quake at the end. I do, I do love playing Quake. It's one of my favourite uh, arena FPSs. 
When it's patch time, it's now. It's right now. Don't pull the wool over my eyes. Watch So we are giving our opponent a copy of uh unstable element and then we are espionaging the card out of their hand. Um drawing their entire deck and then letting them die to fatigue. That's the idea. Quake 2 is your game. I have play I'm I was playing through the remaster of Quake 2. Cause I think it was a free it was a free remaster on uh Steam, if you already owned it. Uh you can now uh you can now stream on both platforms on Twitch allow it, so I can I can theoretically just every time I stream on Twitch I can just put the VOD up on YouTube as well. Oh we got Gambit, that's cool. Care to make a wager, friend? Gear shift. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, I'm going to lose the shark for now, but... Oh, there you go. I regained it. I don't have enough gear shift is best used after passage. If you passage gear shift, it's essentially drawing uh, free cards then. <laughs> How many minions left? Is it just two? Uh, that is it, right? Yep. So I said, yeah, I read two chats. I have both open at the same time. No problem. Prep. Uh, prep. Scabs. Bat manager. What about... What about prep? Serrated. Scabs. Bat manager. Okay, fantastic. It's fantastic. They do have a lot of spells in hand, so this one's harder to do, it's not guaranteed. <sighs> I guess combustion trade. It would be funny if we get it done first the first game though, that'd be great. Then we enter enter survival mode after that. So inside this ETC is unstable and uh, Theo. Then we drop this, drop Theo. Uh, give him the unstable. We'll take, we're gonna take a spell. Uh, we'll give him, we'll give him passage, right? Because that is gonna be useless to him. We'll take the spell, cause it's gonna increase our, odd, our odds of uh, now hitting it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're 40 carded, so that's... Oh, and I cast Passage. Alright, well, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, we got his good cards. I still have... Uh, I still have... Scabs. Um, so they've got, they've got exactly... Uh, is it 8 cards? No, 9 cards to work with. Okay. I just have to survive this much fatigue damage. Fascinating. Okay. 
Tak, ok, ok. Oh, that's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Okay. Hmm. Tyrion? I mean, my <laughs> um, whenever another minion is frozen, add a copy to hand. Delightful insanity. Can't, you know, I'm tempted. Um, I mean, I might, I might be able to find a freeze somehow through, um, I don't know, bagel off this. Hey, Naughty Mate, yeah, going well. Going well. First game, Unseen Avatar. Not bad. Ah, uh, now we have a bit of a problem with this. Now we have a problem. Unfortunately. Ah, of all the cards I didn't burn, was this one. I'm going to put it back. I want to hair power and have this active. Okay, we got echo, mic drop, cheap shot. So we got two card draws. I mean, I do have a weapon equipped, right? Echo makes more sense because it, it's going to let me. Uh, infinitize easier next turn. Uh, yeah, evasion works with uh, Astalor. Uh, they're probably going to do it when they have nine. Sorry, full ten mana though. So I'll probably do it on ten mana. I I'm, I'm still probably going to lose here, unless we can pull something out. Oh, Tendril. Take Assassinate though, he's gonna have some big targets. New Tony good or bad? We'll test it out later. Um, not entirely sure what to make of the new Tony yet. It's basically Benedictus without keeping your own cards. Same stats, same mana. Now, do they play one Astalon now? No. This is going to cast... So you're going to see the new Yogg now. It's going to cast two random spells when he presses the ability. Raised dead. And fro ah oh, okay, frozen. So now is the correct time to play evasion, I think. Morobi. What have I got left? Oh, I got espionage left. Wait, that's my win condition. I forgot to put that in there. Ah, I should have searched for that ages ago. No swing. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have swung there. Hope is an ah! Rage immolated me. That's not good. It's okay. I mean. Oh, okay, gave up. <laughs> oh, first one. 
Uh, random spells, yeah, off the yog. Okay, we'll take that. I think we would have won. I mean, we had the ability to search with... Um... <laughs> we were going to search, weren't we, with... Uh, espionage at some point. Yeah, that was good fun. Okay, let's uh, let's keep serrated because it's an activation. Because I, I have stuff to do. Passage isn't going to be played for a little bit, so I might as well just throw it back in. All right. Had a garden in the oh. here. It, it, the garden looks uh, the best it's looked so far. So it's 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 gone well. I managed to get a load of, load of the prep work done uh, just before like it got really wet and cold. So the next time I'll be out there realistically is is spring now to um, cut back some of the plants and get 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 stuff ready. The whole deck is just espionage. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I mean, I have uh, no, no. The whole deck. No, sorry. The whole deck is forcing my opponent to play. Um, unstable element. So I, I am now ready. Oh wow, he got he got the best one for me, the worst one for him. Didn't expect to see Rat in Hunter. Any other card there would have broke the Oh, and he played Flare, so evasion's fine. Any other card there would have broke the flare. Yeah, this gives me shark coin, scabs, band manager, copy, copy hand, then set up. Ah, but he'll try take he'll try take bees or snipe now. Wow, oh, he's insta picked as well. Yeah, probably bees or snipe. So. Uh, it's probably yeah. We definitely lost, right? Ah, tech hunter. <laughs> so, I mean, I can get espionage and get a hunter uh, minion to test for that. Oh, nice. Oh, and lettuce and car. I need to. Uh... I'll just play this and give me an extra copy. I need to look into um, some more veg. I've only done carrots uh, and peppers and stuff like that. Uh, peppers, carrots, and then for fruit, I've done um, some raspberries and uh, strawberries. Oh, Sir X, mate, welcome. I hey, appreciate that. Thank you for subscribing to Prime, mate, welcome. Yeah, my only real chance of beating this secret is going to be espionage. Uh, 
All right, we got it. So I can play it and then search. Ah, fuck, we didn't get a minion. Okay, I can use that as a combo activator. Wait, no, this is a beast! This is a beast! It can still be done. Right. And then we go next then. Very cool. Matey! Uh, that actually worked. That spell actually worked. <laughs> I mean, I drew a <laughs> starving buzzard immediately. Now I just have to top deck the. Uh, the scabs or cloak. I got another cloak. This one was way more awkward because of the secrets the hunter got. But I got gear shift. That could work. Kind of have to get lucky here and give him the unstable. Uh, I think I'd like Reno. Can give him uh, the band manager because I already used it. I'll take, I'll take that. Uh, I didn't give him it. Uh, that one was risky, or it was difficult to kind of guarantee this one. Uh, we'll give him that, I guess. So we couldn't do it. Might as well do it ourselves then. So this game couldn't do it. Too awkward setup. Almost though. It would have been it would have been perfect because I could have uh definitely have cycled through and got these activated. I do have like double Alex next turn. Which is potentially quite good. The hunter cards I got were garbage. Oh mate, he runs this! Of course he runs this. He's a f <laughs> Oh, He's got the exact same fucking setup as me. <laughs> uh. Yeah, just like a full full 40 cards. Well, more than 40 cards. Tech, Hunter. Get free stuff for. Oh, nothing here. No armor. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, not much going on. Oh, oh it's not where I picked that. Oh, it's ready! <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait, can I stealth? Oh, I've got no stealth. Oh, that would have been sick. Oh, I forgot, yeah. I completely forgot, yeah. Cleaver. I wasn't paying attention. I was just paying attention to the uh, the dragon pickups. Now that's madness that he uh, picked up. Right. I suppose if you run that many secrets, then you're always going to get it. I guess. Dead for fatigue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was just an awkward one. Uh, what's the mod that you use? You mean the, the deck tracker? The deck tracker is Firestone. Yeah, two days in a row, Mon. The little circle number on the card. Yeah, that's that's the deck tracker. That you mean all this stuff here? It's the it's Firestone. It's yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. It would have been good there to assemble, yes, yeah, assemble some cards off uh, Kazakhstan, but uh, wasn't meant to be there. Have fun there, gaming lad. Yeah, you can turn off these features if you want. This will tell you how much damage you have available. Uh, this tells you how much damage the opponent has available. Uh, and then it marks on the board what order a minion was played. So it'll put like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 marker on them. Depending on the uh, on the on when they were actually played on board. Uh, okay, I'm not going to prep it. And we picked up Swindle and Demise. So that's double, that's double Swindle. See if we get preppier or queen. I I would coin, yeah. Um Cool. Now we can just double concealment and that's I think that's the job done. All the minions there in hand ready to go. By turn four, then we just need to have stuff set up. I think I, hmm, I think I keep prep though. Actually, realistically, I can't keep the prep. There's only one minion left, so we don't mind overdrawing the next card. I can go ahead and just play academic espionage now and that will get me ready for when we try to destroy their hand. So a druid's going to be hard to destroy their hand because the majority of the cards in their hand are going to be spells. Um, Oh, you're going to start making uh, and shipping tea, Lord. That's mill of some sort.
care to make a way to your friend a kitchen and into the frying pan. to make a way to your friend. Oh, very nice, lad. So is it, it's next year that you get, get um, the license for it? How goes the mill? Um, One for one so far. Gotta try and make the deck as good as possible. Tough luck. Okay, now nah, it's naturalized is bad because it's it's gonna be harder. Oh, that's good though with the dormant. It's gonna be harder to um give him the card that I want. Hmm. <laughs> Depends how many spells are at the uh, poison seeds. No seeds. Well, oh my god, am I am I guff? Am I mill? <laughs> Take the spell. Give the spell. Take the spell. I'm gonna have to give a spell back. I'll probably try giving the shroud. Yeah. <laughs> Am I the mill deck? Oh, I made him cast Nourish. Oh, please draw free. Oh my god. And the due process. Please tell me he doesn't draw Jade Idol. Oh, did I brand? Did I have double uh, battle cry off Guff? No, because uh, sharks only minions. I'm pretty sure. Fucking hell. How did they always do it? How? <laughs> May they always do it?
They always do it. 40 carded. I draw them about, what, six cards there? Or five, five or six cards I draw them. And they always get the Jade Idol. They're immune. They're immune. <laughs> Let's trade. Let's just go. Got the raptor. Hmm. Oh, this is so, this is so annoying, man. <laughs> I had the perfect turn there. Got all the cards out of his hand. Still drew Jade Idol out of his forty. They'll they'll never keep Jade in hand. I don't think they will. <laughs> At least it's a interesting match, eh? Yeah, so there's... <clears throat> there's definitely still... There's not one in hand, right? Yeah, there's not one in hand, but I can make him overdraw. By playing this. Tear them apart. Watch them. <laughs> well, you let you left one in hand. in hand he left it in hand to make it more exciting that's what he did oh please don't overdraw mine yeah go first from espionage one mana uh please don't over please don't do it no! Oh my god. 
Wait, 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 I got one left. I got one left. I've got one left. It's okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got one left. <laughs> we're, we're saved, we're saved. We're saved. I thought we might have lost this. I think we might have turned it around. <laughs> and the the fatigue is high. It's not nature, no jade, no uh, no spell school jade. Yes, he has the Nafrius, right? Um. I forgot he had that as well. So I probably want to swap. I mean, I don't need to power Denafrius up, right? That's not a thing I have to do. I can power him up. I can power him up a little bit, though. You can have, you can have gunk. There you go. He's dead though, right? Seven fatigue any Oh no, he's not dead. He's still got Jade Idols from what I'm talking about. Right, we'll play we'll play this often. Fifteen, pretty good. I kinda I've kind of like I feel bad now. <laughs> I feel I feel a little bit bad. Uh, it's his own. It's their own fault. They left. They left the jade idle, idle in hand. I didn't think they did. I was planning on trying to mill their jade idol, but because uh, I was gonna play, I was gonna play scab. So I ended up playing a copy of uh, Theo first, and then scabbing it back to hand. That's the only reason I discovered the jade idol was there. So I had a change of uh, change of plan instead of milling it. Decides to go in another direction. <laughs> oh, wait, this deck used to. Why is it called Hunter Damage? This deck used to be. Um, uh, Cthoon. You know, the Cthoon uh, Blade card. And uh, the maximum damage you can deal with Cthoon is 100. So the, the deck was just called. Um, only 100. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> felt good, man. Hey, woo! <laughs> Welcome to the stream, mate. I appreciate that. I think I, I think you keep etc. Uh, warlock could be quest. I think that's pretty popular.
Can Ta you please share the deck code, lad? The Terminator? Of course I can. I'll put it in both uh, both chats. Hold on. There's the deck code for both there. Kakarot. I mean, you can type. You can type in chat, yeah. I'm here. Ah, uh, the bad thing though, if I put them into fatigue, they just beat me. Because they... the quest. <laughs> the, the quest will get me. Alright, let's... I guess let's just do this then. Swap the minion for a minion. Hit a uh, little secret passage next turn. Oh, jeez, Kenny. Yeah, I mean, I was looking for a a a, a way to use Sabotar again because it's one of my it's one of my favorites because it doesn't discard the card; it forcibly plays the card. So it's always it's always great when it does that. All right, band manager's back, and we got the Sabotar. Uh, we're just missing. Um, Pretty much just missing scabs. No, don't. It's still good. Oh, I can mill one card off them. Oh, he's done it himself anyway. That's weird. Hmm. So they're just the fatigue to death, basically. If I get Theo. I can maybe take the quest reward off them if they're careless. It's unlikely. Oh, it's still going. Oh, okay. Care to make a wager, friend? Hmm. Next turn, I can do it. I don't want to play the evasions yet though, because that's my ticket out of the uh, out of damage, fatigue damage, which would which would potentially buy me one turn. Oh, I didn't see this driven to excess. We don't really care about overdrawing here. Ah, oh, you're missing the Myra spell. Ah, uh, it's expensive that, and it's it's not useful. So you, yeah, it's not really playable. Uh, which free drop? Wow, they're really going for the fatigue angle, eh? I'd love to help you out in the fatigue angle, but I think you're already going to do that yourself. My hand is too full. So we have to kind of consider a different way of winning here. Yeah, we need a new way to win. Care 
to make a wager, friend. Can I make him take fatigue damage right now? And then overdraw his quest. Oh my god, he would overdraw his quest if he takes enough fatigue damage. Oh no, it's gotta be on his turn. No, it's gotta be on his turn. It's gotta be on his turn. But it, wait, do we, can we do anything with this? Free damage. We took Theo. I don't know if he's able to complete. No, he can. He can tap and do it now. But I have full board, so he would die. He's got to deal with this board. It's massive, right? Twenty-four. Okay, you can't. You can't complete the quest. His com his quest is down. Is this it? Is this how we do it with this? You didn't need that, did you? Not quite. Care to make a wager, friend? Ah, that might be the game over. I was hoping he would have added like another backfire in hand there, and he would have taken too much damage. All of shall my pain. <laughs> Needed to play the evasion for sure there. Ah, oh, please tell me he doesn't have it. That's fine. Okay, we're okay. Wait, we're okay. Not really worried about the merchant. I'm just gonna give him the cards back. I just wanted to see what they were. Yeah, not too concerned about the merchant there. I'm gonna take five damage and then that's it. Hmm. If any of these a way for me to steal the um, the quest, the shadow stuff. It. I mean, I guess it's still not over yet. I can get espionage. Uh, I needed espionage there.
That's no good. <laughs> um, oh, unfortunately, no. Oh, I was looking for something just to give me a tiny bit more HP and then go back into the espionage. Yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to get him, like force him to take fatigue damage where it would have completed the quest and then overdrew the, overdrew the uh, quest reward, but they didn't have any card draw left in in hand. Is the many ginger hearthstone players? There must be there must be a lot. That was a close one. Nearly. We nearly got it. We just needed them if they kept um if they kept Hand of Gul'dan. Uh, that would have been impossible. Needed the hand of gold, I. Double battle cry. I have to avoid a uh, rat and mutinous this game. So we need to uh, we need to assemble quickly. Okay, good. Okay, we're assembled. That's us assembled. We're we're in now. So it's shroud. Next turn. Nature waits for no one but me. Ah, oh, that's probably ice fishing. Okay. The time has come to throw our former master. You go fox. Cutter. Care to make a wager, friend? Out of the kitchen and into the frying pan. And we're ready to blast off next turn. Oh, cheers, lad. Have a good day at work, matey. What's inside? Easy, easy. Oh, you're about to find out. Hold on, don't be hasty. You're about to see what's inside, ETC. Fingers crossed, anyway. Yeah, it was ice fishing, but I don't think they can do any mutinous shenanigans yet. One, two, one. Okay. It's not okay. Do you use the coin? So I want to do, uh, this is some point. So I've just got to make uh, 
I gotta make a little bit of hand space first because I'm gonna leave the board like this. The reason is for me to increase my odds of actually giving them unstable elements. I'm gonna have to empty my uh, hand a little bit there. Plus, it'll give them a chance to play a spell. Like a lightning storm or something here. Wait, they've got ETC. Should take the spell, really, increase the odds. Ah, uh, the given passage, though. Hey, hey, hey. You didn't need that, did you? No! All right, new lesson learned. Never, never give them passage. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, new lesson learned there. If we learn as we go along, never give your opponent secret passage. Never give them secret passage. Never give them secret passage. There you go. That's okay. <clears throat> Passage is the best card draw I have. Uh, can't get rid of Passage. But there you go. Well, there's a tip. If you ever want to play, if you ever want to play this deck, uh, never give your opponent Passage. Oh, yeah, that's a free. That's a free tip. That one. Unless it's Myra's first hit, yeah, of course. Yeah, that one, that one's revoked. That one's for sure. We'll have a better run of it this time. Prefer post -pop so not they're not gonna get like they'll probably get removal off me because I have I think I have most of the card draw in this deck and um, shadow steps and stuff. Alright, I won't even present them with espionage. First that passage, scabs. Oh, Jesus, double pass. All right, uh, let's do this. Oh, cool. We get to keep the mice. Because I can coin this. Let's see what the last card is. Gear shift. Do of those shadow steps now. Didn't want that weapon trade. Uh, no, because they only 
The only card I would want there is the Shadow Step, and I think if I weapon traded it, I would have, um, I would have overdrawn. Because I'm on nine cards, so I have to be, I have to be pretty careful there. It's, it's kind of hard to combo now, so. Um, it's impossible to combo because I don't have step. Step or bone spike, please. It's only turn four. Oh, you got armor, armor scraps. Oh, this step. Um, nine damage. So many options. I'm just going to uncombo this. Uncombo. Actually, if I get prep, it's it's pretty good. Trying to think of a, an efficient way of doing this. There isn't any, because my combo potential is pretty low. Um, I'm going to step this bar. Let's prep the answer here. Get my feet. I think prep might be good. I think because I, I used all the low cost cards to draw all of these really early, it's made this turn a little bit more tricky to do. Yeah, prep's kind of useless now at this point. I'll do it though, I guess. Full setup and just do the scabs next turn. I'm probably probably missing out on doing this a little bit earlier. I think turn five or six should be like the the game to like try do this uh, swap turn, but. It means I'd have to hang on to like one coin or, or draw at the shadow step quicker. I'll keep the, the foxy fraud would probably be good as well. I had another one of those.
Very cool. Uh, I'm gonna tap you out. Uh, speaking of ETC, if you bounce your own ETC back to your hand, uh, we'd be able to get the cards upon playing a second time. No, you can only get, once the cards are out of ETC, it only has what's remaining in it. Um, Play cheap one. <laughs> so you want to take spells off him. So it has a higher chance of casting it on, on, the, on his behalf. Uh, we can give him the expensive scabs, I guess. Alright, we got it. Your man is, um... Oh, coerce this. Is that only enemies? Oh, it didn't combo it, so it's undamaged. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do I want to buff? I guess this, slightly. <laughs> All right. Let's hope he can't kill me with his remaining cards. <laughs> I give him scabs. I give him the expensive scabs. So it's four mana. <sighs> Reduce free. I have to be able to like, clean up now. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go in style. I like it. Get it. Get out of there in style. Bless him. I thought he had a shot. Listen, he had a shot to kill me there. I had I had nothing in hand. I figured he would have. He would have at least tried. You had a good amount of damage on board. <laughs> yeah, not as dire as they thought it would be. That was, uh, I think they could have done that. <laughs> Valera versus Night Warrior. <clears throat> Justice, watch your death. So, so I, I do like having the band manager in hand sometimes. Because you can stop setting up with like potion of illusion. This is basically a potion of illusion. Uh did York change anything for a while? Yeah, I haven't seen it. I've actually it's not a lie, I've seen it once. And it uh it didn't have much of an impact, so I I think so. It's not an auto include now for a lot of these spell heavy decks. Must assume that I had a follow up. I mean, I, I, I kind of have a follow up there. Kind of. Alright, I'll actually swap these out. Not great. I guess we just take the scabs for later. I mean, my follow-up was pray for a good priest card off, uh, off espionage. I remember those who left too soon. I should have heard about that. Whoops. Um, yeah, that was that was my game plan. Oh, I have full combo in hand. Don't need 
fra uh, fraud all the time. Nice. Let's do it next turn. Let's get it done, lad. <laughs> oh, it's this. No. Piss. Alright, I only have to deal with a few of these. I've just got to deal with a few. Just a few. Only one died. Oh boy, I'm dead. <laughs> Did I resurrect the card or some shit? That I do not have any cards left. Ah! <laughs> uh... <laughs> All right, so maybe I could have done that on turn six. Um, I was hoping he would have had like hysteria. To be fair. I thought he was going to have hysteria. My power is as infinite as the stars. Unfortunately not. Unity and precision. Perfection. Nearly though. Almost. Yeah, unless you have like a board clear for that deck, uh, 
It'll just eventually, eventually get you. I had one board clear. Uh, but he need. I needed a f f f f f follow up there. All right, we'll get one more in with this, and then we'll try something with uh, with Tony. It's going, mate. How's it going? Uh, when, what was that? First card, what? One you can afford to play. I guess in that case, then, we just want to draw um, a Shroud of Concealment now, then. Oh, Flick. The yeah, Flick would work for that one particular deck, yeah. Screwed. Next turn is potentially um, game over. Yeah, Flick's a, an interesting card. If he plays another card, it'll Finley again. Probably doesn't make that mistake twice. I don't know, maybe Mutinous eats the fraud. Like, the fraud is useless now. Maybe that happens. I don't know, it'll eat two, two cards, though. It would actually eat uh, two minions because of this. I need this to die, but... I don't think it's doable. Don't know, but I can somehow avoid it here. Somehow avoid um, mutinous. I don't know if that Finley messed him up. He shouldn't be able to draw mutinous naturally though, because of the uh, anomaly. Because he can't afford it. Let's 
screw it, we're gonna do it next turn. Just have to try high roll it. Because he's got it now. So I, I can't kill my own board off, is the big problem. Board space is an issue. Gastel, yeah. You gotta hope now that we give him. Should take the spell. Gotta give him. No, we missed. We missed. Couldn't hit the uh, unstable element there. It's always risky doing it when you've got... How many cards are in hand? Six? One, two, three, four, five. Six. There were six cards in hand. It's like 50% to give him the element. Off two discoveries, or it might be a little bit higher. It might have been a little bit higher there. Unfortunate there. Oh, nice. Zero amount of cards. Oh, that was good. I will try Tony now for a little bit. If we had some good games of that, like I say, it's not a, it's not reliable, obviously, because um, as you saw, then I, I couldn't give him, couldn't give him the card with Theo. Sometimes Theo will not present it. No, I, I the games I, I hit, uh, I won. I won three of them out of six or no, out of four. Uh, it's just it's just a nice little challenge. <laughs> Once you do hit it. Oh, don't you start already? Hey, don't you start already? Psst. Hey, come on, move, move. Move out the way. It's only early. Yeah.
<laughs> All right. Uh, Tony's probably better than Benedictus for this because you only want to be drawing their cards at the point where you have Auctioneer tabled. So this this is essentially uh, Tony, Thief Priest, which was is kind of similar to the... Although a Death Knight's only going to have really expensive cards. Which might be good. Let the blight begin. Elune, give me strength. Why harvest there? Because uh, it's a copy. So harvester would take physically take the cards out of their deck. Oh wow! Is this this is uh, plagues? I have to dump these two cards first. Th these anomalies are so annoying when you play in this deck. Like you absolutely do not want additional expensive cards when you play in this deck. Oh my god, he's just got two Hellias. <laughs> Hell no. So it means I gotta spend. I gotta spend one turn playing this. Then I gotta spend another time playing this, and I should be realistically reducing all my cards down right now, but. So yeah, anomaly is very bad for this this deck. Unless the anomaly is give coins. <laughs> so they, do they have Hellier as their like top card? No, because this the observers four mana. They probably have the Titans. Titans. Hey Josh. Give coin anomaly was removed. Oh, was it? Uh. Gonna get absolutely smashed by plagues when I start drawing the deck now. I have seen all futures. Ends here. You picked. Spend three corpses, deal three. Yeah, you can have that. It has been decided. I'm just gonna purposely have a draw and then kickstart the turn next turn. Am I gonna have enough mana? Let me just review. So it would be uh Nismani um Vivid for four. Sorry, five. Zero, zero, try get the third one done. Use these for zero mana cards if possible. Then then you'd have to hit the auction here. So five, minus two, minus two. Should probably hit one of these uh, shadow visions, which will give me another minus two, minus two. Death cannot be found. You want to hit this? No. More draw. Okay. 
Come on, you gotta... Gotta hit this, right? It's fine, as long as I don't get... I'm not gonna be able to take my turn properly. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, not great. I needed the, Nama uh, the Nazmani to hit immediately, and she didn't she didn't get reduced until I dug quite deep into the deck there. Good news is that I hit a plague. And that's less plagues when Helly gets played. But I'm gonna destroy them all when Tony gets played. Right, Tony? Right, Tony! It is finished. You win. Ah, uh, mate, if fucking if Nazmani had hit just once, one turn earlier, I would have drawn and played Tony. <laughs> uh, bad reduction luck. Plus the the anomaly is what's stopped me from doing that two turns earlier. I really dislike anomalies when I play this deck. They're so so bad for this deck. Especially anomaly, the worst ones are the one that gives you yog in hand because that's ten mana you have to take off the off the hand. And the anomalies where you get two of your opponent's cards are really bad. Oh, and two shift the Jairus anomalies are really bad as well because they they're a lot of mana to have to, like to have to spend. It's like I fi finally crafted this deck to for a specific purpose, and Hearthstone twenty five percent of the time is like, nah, fuck you, <laughs> go fuck yourself. <laughs> It's like, well, you want to play, you want to play, you want to play a deck that has like a very strict purpose and a very strict game plan. Nah, mate, play these anomalies out, you dickhead. <laughs> hey, dickhead, you can't do that. Yeah, Tony and Questline Hunter should still work because Questline Demon Hunter runs out of cards. They just want to refill them, these. So this should still be. This should still be good. Oh, hell yeah. Discovery. I think that is probably the the best choice because um yeah you can't really pick two auctioneers like that it's like 14 mana um although like priestess is pretty good that's oh, big demon Not gonna invest too much here. What do you want, Katsu? Can I help you? What do you want? Go 
go sit in the window. <laughs> These horrors fall prisoner to my chance. Alright, let's grab Auctioneer and then make a start. It's gonna, I don't know, it's kind of, I guess their their deck's gonna be really expensive. So Harvester of Envy and Tony aren't gonna take a lot of cards off of them because they're all, they're all minion based by the looks of things. But we'll try cycle through our entire deck and then start to do, use those. Give that a try. It's a good name. Is that what you called your cat? Achilles? It's a good name for a cat. Okay, this is good. Um, do you want to hit the auctioneer or? No, that's, that's just a suggestion. If you want to fucking hit the auctioneer. <laughs> Oh my god. Please. I just need to cycle a little bit. <laughs> I just needed to hit the auction yes, so I can I can draw. Damage. Hey Primo, let's go base. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> the idea is... <laughs> I can't even cycle anything. I mean, at least there was no there was no anomaly that game, so I can't blame the anomaly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was under that impression there was a cycle deck too. I think I was uh, mistaken. Ah. Uh, yeah, as I'll explain. You want to you want to hit the auction here ASAP so you can play it and then start drawing other zero mana cards. So then you've always got like minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two, uh, being cycled. Um, what you don't want is the auction here to avoid every single reduction. Some Domo Rogue XD. Domo Rogue. You mean the the stealthy one? Time for the finishing touch. Oh, my God, an actual token druid. Yeah. 
yeah, I'm not I'm not having a good time with this. <laughs> What's the win condition? It's to play auctioneer Tony, harvester, take the entire deck as you uh, as you play it, but um not happen not happening. It's not happening. Yeah, it's not happening. They grow up so fast. Yeah, no, I and mean, even if I again minion minion heavy decks like like this, which are just basically all minions uh, for the most part, Nazmani doesn't work on them. Uh, not having a good time <laughs> with the reduction. I'll give it one more shot and then forget it. I don't think I can play this style of deck until anomalies disappear because um it's so frustrating. Tyrande versus Garrosh. It's another really heavy minion based uh but give me strength. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Give it a shot. I mean, it can work against non-spell decks, like, you know. Can It can work against them, but it's a bit harder. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more tricky. Ooh, the depths though. That's cool. Might take out Priestess. Priestess is good. Jesus minus four. Yeah, Priestess is uh, uh, good if... Uh, I'm just going to take Auctioneer here. If um, you draw her off a cycle and just refresh mana when needed. But... Probably don't want too many minions being in this deck. So I want to... I mean, this is a guaranteed auctioneer. I think you're probably better off um, establishing like a decent board with uh, Nazmani first. I'll give it till turn six and just like blast it. Do you have this in a bigger size? Because like a, a gift of Naru would be good. Oh, I think it's really, really cheap. We will feed on this well. We will feed on this well. We will feed on this well. This was meant to be my, uh, it's not going to be reduced. This was meant to be when I was, I get it, whatever. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> They're all going bye-bye. Boy, boy, boy. Hmm. 
I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Please do not. Please do not. Please do not do that. <laughs> what is it? What in? What in? What in? Uh, what a true auctioneer than the fucker priest does. What was that? One in? Uh, two? Two in eighteen? Two out of eighteen? Uh, oh my fucking god. I missed Nizami in the first game completely. I missed Auctioneer in the second game completely. The first game was an anomaly. This one I can't... Can't fucking... I couldn't hit... <laughs> then I hit back-to-back -back spell... and uh, Back-to-back minions off... Okay, whatever. Whatever. <sighs> oh, his minions survived as well. Okay, yeah, might as well just pile on the pile on the fucking uh, bad luck here. <laughs> are you down there? Are you Tony? All right, have fun down there. Imagine, imagine if I had fucking double Nazmani active. I'd, I'd, be, I'd take so many cards. This deck would be mine. Instead, this happened again. Don't really want to steal this. Katsu's on the patrol, yeah. When I'm about to... Every time I go to make a nice decision. Get out the way! Move out the way, cat! <laughs> Move your ass! Oh, I have to cut Priestess, yeah. Got some nice air freshener. What are you panicking for? I sprayed it behind my head. I don't think she likes the sound of it. Will be mine <laughs> in due time. Oh, it does work. Fantastic news. Ah, yes, fantastic news. It does indeed work. Now I'm Control Warrior, baby. After my abysmal card draw, what am I spraying? Oh, I was just spraying some uh, cotton air freshener. The rooms give the room a nice uh, fragrance. She doesn't like the sound of it though. Are you just looking or are you. Wait, what? No! He's a. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Did Yogg just cast Yogg's box? No! Fuck 
sake, man. For fuck's sake! Ha <laughs> What stories? Blah 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 blah. Christ Almighty! No! I would have stole that off him. Now I'm gonna die. <laughs> Come on, I gotta be I've gotta be still winning this. Hey, hey, no, no, get off, get off, leave, don't. Leave them alone. Leave. For a noon. Yep. What story will you give my work? Hey. Why does he do it? Why'd you do that lad? That hurt. Hey, 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 don't be pulling the cables! So they've still got Brawl in the deck somewhere. It stacks! This is my way out. This is how I win. Amuse me with your tales of victory. Come on now! Double loading!
<laughs> I have Yaga too. Bang! 15 damage, lad. Just off one weapon charge and the old uh, verse rift. Fuck. Oh, fuck, he's got that. Shit. <laughs> Sorry, Yog, Yog's gonna do something, isn't he? Yog saves me, right? He's going greedy with the 10. He's got the 10 weapon. Yog's gonna cast an amazing spell, just like his Yog did. Clearly, I'm gonna be the lucky player here. God damn it, I buffed his minion. <laughs> Not as good as his box. Oh, Wind Fury! Oh, wait, there, he has no armor though. Oh, he's left up, uh, he's left Yogg up. Could that be game over for our opponent? Leaving up Yogg. It's going to take the uh, taunt here. Two spells. Wait, does he, does he have anything good? Probably not. Might potentially block at least. It probably was. It's probably not going to block two because he's terror powers, but it'll maybe block one big source of damage. Oh my god! Face. No secret. Oh, that's game over. Fucking hell, man. One day I'll have uh, an ounce of my opponent's luck, eh? <laughs> I, just need, I just needed to not miss the auctioneer. Oh, no, I just, like, draw back-to-back -back minion. I, I would have I stole, like, at least ten cards off him in one turn. I'm taking out that stupid minion. Hold on a minute. Uh, right, no, I don't want to. I don't want to see any anomalies. I go double uh, illuminate. No, I don't want to see any anomalies. Not, not a single one of them. Yeah, it was a close game. Pretty close considering. Um, pretty close considering. They they got a Yogg's box off Yogg, which is quite fitting, isn't it? When they tapped, uh, I think they tapped trade or something. Tyranda versus Lunara. The forest fight back. A loon give me strength. Let's have a good one, though. Come on. So now there's only four minions, I think. One, two, three, and four. 
previously five, which meant when I was caught cycling with uh, Auctioneer, it would have been more likely I would have picked, well, it was, it happened twice. I top back the minion when I needed the spell. So we'll take, we'll take the chances of that happening out of the deck. Keep it zero. Oh. Ah. Thought we were about to get you processed there. Jesus. Your man, your man, uh, guidance into bloom, bloom, guff. That was beautiful. That's the bottom of the deck. Hmm. I think I'm just going to pull up auctioneer. Have a harvest to the bot. That's really that's a bit awkward. It means I have to cycle through my entire list before I can do that though. Not really, because I'll I'll pull out, I'll pull I'll pull harvester out with a card card shooter, like insight or something. So that's fine. I'm gonna take the auctioneer now though, I think. Oh, I got tendril. What that's cool. I have a second loot. Yeah, that's fine. Second loot, it's fine. All I realistically need now, I'm gonna do this again, is the uh, Nazmani, which that that is the Nazmani. I think. I think we're good next turn. Zero mana, Nazmani pulls for free. Play one. Play. Refresh. Draw. I can draw because of the vivid nightmare. Also, my my face is taking damage. Not enough though. Fucking play! Did it not go off? Ooh! My Jade Idol's nice. That's good, yeah. That's fine.
it, it does still steal the card if you don't have hand space yet. So if you have full hand, it, it basically just obliterates the card. Kind of like it gets, uh, I guess, discarded. <clears throat> I got some good cards, look at that. I got Jade Idol, I got Yogg. Hey, that's funny. Every time I cast a spell, Yogg decreases by one mana. I thought they said they were going to nerf that. Uh, I got a... Uh, whatever that guy's called. I probably should just drop this first. Yeah, I should have definitely dropped that first. Uh, let's draw. I'm already on 10 mana, aren't I? And a bog beam, nice. Uh, play back. Could have given that some damage as well. Uh, what what are they playing then? Yogg. Like, what's he copying with this? I guess he has a uh, Celestial Alignment, thanks. This is pretty expensive. Jade Idol's a bit weird. Boom. I don't get it then, is it just, just Jade? Unless I'm missing something that's in their hand? Is it just Jade, Yogg and uh, Copy? It really, it really is. Two random spells. Hope is an illusion. I am all around you. The fucking Jade Idols. Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> God damn it, Yogg, you piece of shit.
Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, it's very annoying, isn't it? How's he got this? And he's still 16 cards DP. Explain yourself. I'm just going to steal off him. <sighs> oh, this wouldn't have happened if the animation, it went on the board. The animation. Wait, did he just play that? The animation that actually works. I am almost out of cards. That's funny. That actually works. Pitiful weekly. <laughs> Don't really care about the the yogs, do I? Not really. I, I'm never gonna kill him though. Don't think so. Do I just ramp for mana? Cause I'm never gonna use it to draw cards anymore. I probably wanna make some space ready for tendrils. I don't really wanna poison seed. I guess they might get a spell out like backfires. Maybe. Like yeah, that's. I'd say that was a backfire. Use one here. Perhaps Yogg will cast uh, Jade Idol again. Or he'll hit me in the face. Jade Idol! Nah, you can't get, can't get Jade Idol off. Sorry, take that. I take the other one and that one. What did it do? Arcane brilliance. I can st I can still win this. The power of Yog uh, compels compel me. Was he on eight? Okay, now it's my turn. Ah! Don't mutate, you idiot.
Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this guy's got it all. HP. Oh god, he's got that yog. He's revealed his hand. Ever jousted a dragon? I wish. I wish, mate. Can you can you come back to my hand? Oh great. Maybe by some freak accident Yogg will knock that back. Wait, what's this trait? Uh Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Why is the two Eye of the Storms on board, by the way? This is my, uh... This is my chance. There you go. That was my chance. All right, he's got the old Yogg, one of the old Yogs in hand. He's gonna play it. Might kill him. He better play it if he's trading all this rubbish. Come on. Play it. Play it. Ah. Oh. It's the it's the least risk averse yog. That's I'm out of here. <laughs> you could have you could have made it exciting, Yog. The least risk averse Yog, the one that puts spells in his hand that he can play at will. Could have done the fireballs. Could have. Uh, what else could have done? Could have filled the board with with uh, bad things for him. <laughs> could have actually been the old Yog type. Oh, sorry, most risk of us. Oh, yeah, verse, sorry, yeah. They're most risk of us. Yeah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, what?
Okay. Oh yeah, we got the uh, Stone Pike Aid Station. There's a little fella asleep on the bed there. Seems anything decent we want to take off right off the bat. Because there's kind of no rush right now. And we're in like full control. That's kind of sad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I had like a, I had another auctioneer, I had Harvester and another Nazmani, so I could, I could just like... Alright, well, I, I was gonna wait till he cleared up a little bit and then re-established. Bear with me a minute, I'm just gonna go make a, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, cup of tea, cup of coffee, I'm not too sure, yeah. Um, I'll be right back, don't go anywhere. We've got more, more Tony coming up right after this small break.
Do, 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 do. Hello, hello, hello. Right. Sorry about the wait there. Do, 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 do. Well, back. I got a coffee. Energize. Is it better to keep or discard? I'm gonna keep the Nazmani, but lose the ah oh, bugger. Because I want a lot of spells. What a lot of spells. Right. Oh, is that me? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I was catching up with chat, see if I missed anything. A used to behave yourselves. Gonna chill. You want to build up a lot of spells. Um, try get a palm read and see how we go. It's not gonna be a ten four extravaganza this time, though. Unfortunately. What are these two? What are these two up to? Hmm. Eh? Got my eye on them. The time has come to throw our former master. Up to no good. Where are you going? Hmm. A cafoon version. Yeah, uh, you could do. The five mana spells are a bit tricky. Um, you need a lot of copied Nazmanis on board, but you could do. I assume you mean like the uh, shattered, the shattered Cthulhu. No, mate, you're not secret, are you? Piss, piss. Why don't you have four attack? Oh wait. Ha 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 ha! Fuck you! <laughs> Alright, cool. Now we're okay. I bring the muscle and the magic. No! He stole seven mana off me. Thief! Or a thief? Somehow managed to draw all the minions, um, which is not good. Typically, only spells is what I want. That's why I was debating whether to throw back in the Nazmani. Probably should have. Probably should have. Now I've got a seven mana regenerate. I am screwed. Unfortunate. I will go on. We'll go to next. Go next. I should always put, always put minions back in the deck. Always put minions back into the deck. Always. Always stick them back in. We will feed on this web. We will feed on this web. Yeah, because uh, I'm just I'm completely overrun by minions now. Bit unusual to draw that many so quick. 
but I think the obviously the odds are increased to me doing that if um, if I just keep as many. Signature is oh, this is like the worst secret mage I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm assuming it's like a a secret mage hybrid. I'm a survivor, I'm not gonna give up. I know what this deck could use. Resurrect. I'm a survivor, I'm not gonna give up. Oh, Wellpool is kind of interesting, isn't it? Oh, I can't take it anyway. Ha -ha. Suddenly, someone's at 11 HP. Eh? That's not bad. I mean, uh, 30 HP. <laughs> I, meant, I meant this as more attack. Don't kill me. Oh, but we got Sneeds. What rank am I at? <laughs> I would have loved to have delved into this this deck. That would have been amazing. I, I'm going to heal all my opponent's uh, minions. My generosity will know no bounds. Oh, let's die. Okay. <laughs> right, don't hold minions. Don't hold... Don't hold minions. Hey, true, uh, I mean, I wouldn't craft any deck that I'm playing on uh, on stream today. Um, so you, yeah, so you've got some dust left over from some of the the, the patches. Um, I'd have to think about that. I'd save you dust for now, but I yeah, I wouldn't recommend crafting anything that I would be playing right now. Ooh, uh, thoughts on the Lifesteal 6 Dragon, 6 mana Dragon Drop for Shadow, Ma uh, Shadow Caster Madness. Is that a new, is that a new dragon? Six, which one's 6? Six, 
six mana lifesteal. Evening, A class. Oh, the twist one. Yeah, the twist one was the first season of twist. It did. It did really well. It, it got to a uh, legend twist. And it was. It was fairly fun to to play. But it's one of those decks. Yeah, it's only viable. Well, only viable for one month. So again, not really recommend crafting unless you already have those cards to play it. Me. Don't think I, I ever beat this because I take their list, but uh, they have the reward, so probably not possible. Ouch. Let's do a little bit of cycling. I just want to get to the uh, Nazmani and other, other cards. Ouch. I don't know, if I steal the entire deck, maybe we win. Should we go next then? Yep. How far are they? Oh, they're pretty much there now. Yeah, once the quest comes down, I guess it's over for me. Yeah, I suppose this this quest deck's kind of like an inevitability for uh, anything wacky. Dane, 
closing in on three years. Thanks for all the great content. Oh, welcome back. Hey, Riff, mate, welcome back. Hey, much appreciated, man. Much appreciated. Um, reduce. Please reduce this. How can you do this to me? Oh. <laughs> you still didn't fucking reduce. Oh well. Um, I think I have a better idea though. Oh, no, don't. Good damage. I agree, that was fantastic damage. I reckon I can increase my, my win rate by at least two. If I just put this in. By at least two games, I mean, not not percent. I'll just win. I'll <laughs> now, if I put, I can temp, I can just literally play the Nats money whenever I want. Like if I draw it, I play it. I will prove myself to you. Raw power is no substitute for true strength. I draw it, I play it. Oh, they're all minions. Huh. Yes, I want Cthulhu, please. That stinks as well. If you done one as well, both uh, both shat. Oh, great. Beautiful zero mana cards. Oh, gift is actually pretty nice. Yes, we have revives. We got the revives. So, yeah, what we're gonna what we're gonna do? We actually can go next turn because uh, auctioneer will likely hit revives for us. So auctioneer, maybe go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's a big no, unfortunately. I got the best deal 
Uh, very big shame that big shame I didn't uh, actually hit anything above one or zero mana with the dredge card because if I hit gift right there if if gift was hit then we were we would odds on to like just cycle through but uh, not quite hey, not quite there. Shouldn't I draw a card out of their deck? Replace your deck, yes. So the battle cry happens first. Then the finale should have care after that. I mean, this deck's a mess. I have no idea what they're gonna play. Apparently, finale goes off before the battle cry, which it shouldn't. I guess. I haven't got a weapon, so I can't do anything with this. Does this demon hunter have no card draw? Bizarre list. He's just it he, he's just literally top deck and top deck and top deck. Um Hold on. There's there's gotta be a a better this like a better, a better like list of the one drop cards. So I'm thinking like No flash. Because I want to get to a point where I'm cycling constant. So like double, double shield. I do like illuminate. I have a lot of like big free drop spells that illuminate would hit perfectly. Okay. I reckon I can get this down reliably, I think. Just takes a lot of uh, trial and error with uh, the right set of cards. Lots of trial and error. Um, uh, the card review before the expansion comes out. Yeah, ten. Well, I mean, I, I usually just leave um, looking at cards until they've all released, so you get an idea of what the package is looking like.
I'm not hitting any of these, but uh, yeah, take shield. I don't. Do you know what? I need to stop get stop doing that. I shouldn't illuminate. I shouldn't illuminate until I've actually got auctioneer on table. Because I, I've basically just designated my next card off the top, and it was useless. So yeah, I think playing illuminate there's a bad idea. I'll take Scream, because it's probably Big Priest. And I can do that next turn. Any draw? Nope. Yeah, I need to get out of the habit of playing dredge. Than that first. Uh, the dangerous thing about this now is these aren't active, so I, I literally can't. I can't cycle these out once I play Tony. I gotta wait. That's the problem of. It's <laughs> the problem of having anime, like animate dead when nothing's died. Or I wish you could cast the like cast these, but you can't cycle them. Which is weird because I think you can do it with resurrect, but you can't do it with um, can't do it with these. Jesus, stop drawing the minions! Fucking hell. Is the deck in the same order as their deck? Like, have they just drawn blood?
Could have went a bit better. For, I mean, I could have done that a lot better. Oh, he doesn't like them. A YouTube lurker here. Just wanted to pop in and say I really like your videos less than three. Oh, you back me? I appreciate that. Hey, welcome. Thank you very much for 25 months. Welcome back. Oh, we're trying to... Try out a bit of Thief Priest to Tony. Probably not the most efficient way to do Thief Priest, but like I say, it's it's uh, basically like Benedictus. What's yours is will be mine. What's yours will be mine. In due time. In due time. All in due time. I'm thinking this is fairly, uh, fairly good. Uh, Animate Dead can bring back Harvest there. It's still going. What is the last card? Oh, it's a Is he still going with the... Jesus. Got a lot of the... Uh, that stuff. I could have dealt two damage to the face though. It's been a long time since I've seen this level of, um, of like resurrects in a, in a big priest. They've got so many. It's like non stop. Yeah, <laughs> for auction is though. Yeah, this is like 
I haven't seen this level of uh, Resurrex. Have they still got one in the deck? Wow. Okay, well that's GG. That's probably why actually they, they played so many. One was literally in the bottom three. I didn't expect that. Right. So, uh, I mean, that's one way of using Harvester. Obviously, it's fun for a little bit. I wonder if there's another deck we could could try out. Um, Do, 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 do. Oh. Yeah, that's two mana now. I quite like this idea, uh, this is a bit of a fucking stupid idea, but the idea of forcing our opponents to draw, to like obviously take take a couple of copies of the cards, um, and then duplicating the, the low-cost copies, it could probably quite work quite well. How are we doing? Sorry, I missed a bit of chat there. We're going to Nitro request. Let's see if I can sort that out in a, in a little bit. Play a bit of Nitro. Okay. So we can have a bit of fun with this hand duplication Freya combo. 
Uh, what the heck are you thinking of, Bloom? I did. I was playing Theo Astolo Communion before. <laughs> okay. Ooh, there he is. I think this is. I think this is okay. So let's see if we can get Guff. There's no alignment in this deck because we just go to high amounts of mana and then mess around with Keymaster. Alabaster. Keymaster. Probably, oh, I should have should have double draw in the deck though, you know, um, Luna. I should, have a, I should have Eclipse, Lunar Eclipse, and so I can just double Nat. Now, they are playing Quest. Oh, it's not that Quest. Sorry, it's Obelisk. I was thinking it was the other Quest. Oh, that's in, that, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Hmm. This must be the way. Oh, but a hook tusk. I've just done a, I did a video on that recently, actually, hook tusk. It was a... Uh, it's good, good fun. Turn six, they're on ten mana. So yeah, we we ramped, dual ramped for mana for them, and we gained a, an extra two ourselves from the hero. Well, we freaks. We did hero power and played nourish. Just gonna chill out a little bit. Druids are so annoying. I'm just sitting, sitting here, unkillable, not doing anything other than gaining armor, drawing cards. Our poor opponent sat there with his lovely, his lovely ribbon there. He's he's done it. Serenity. My only poison seeds. I 
can't go infinite. that one. <laughs> Trying to get my opponent now to uh draw the, the exact cards I need to do the stupid combo. <laughs> it's not even a combo, it's just like in this matchup though. We'd love to get the horseman, that would be cool. Nothing to um, to naturalize on their table either right now. It's annoying having that alive because if I end up like naturalizing that, it might kill off my key master. Could have maybe naturalized my own minion. Perhaps.
those cards are kind of garbage, mate. That turn I ended up with 19, I floated 19 mana, 19 mana floated. <laughs> uh, I burnt Floops Gloop, so I could have done this uh, indefinitely. Um, So I need to be careful with that next time. Oh God, draw, 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 draw. <laughs> okay, I'll piece that one out. Because <laughs> guess what? Uh, I don't have any cards left to draw. <laughs> True. Yeah, I'd have to get the War Rider off him because you need all four to die. I think he still had one in, in the deck because he just summoned one out. I don't know if he played played that one. Um, but I, I probably could have naturalized him to death, but I ended up being a bit silly and destroying the one card that I actually needed for that combination. Um, so I definitely should not do that again. That was a very bad idea. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I want to add in a solar eclipse. Yeah, I'll sort that out after this. We'll play some quake after this game. Actually, we'll do a little Hearthstone, a little Hearthstone break, and I'll play some quake. Oh, and the nitro, yeah. Let's sort that out. What will wet your whistle? Reporting for duty. I'll play that. I want to try pick up uh, composting now. Composting with this hand would draw a ton whilst also like refreshing. You gotta take off though. Ooh. 
little dragon. Hey, Kenny, our favorite wild deck to play? Probably probably a skipper warrior. I do uh, I do really enjoy that one. Um cuz it's just, it's really flexible and does take quite a lot of thought going into um, what you're going to do over the next like two to three turns. You have to think a little bit further ahead in it, but yeah, it's a good. Currently, that's the, the my favorite. Right, I'm just trying to find this compost, and if I can't, it's kind of held out a little bit long, too long here. Yeah. Hey, there we go. I'll jam nourish there. If I got one more space, yeah. That rope's burning again. Yeah, that's it. Just need to hit naturalize on it. Clear up. I think key key master is at the bottom. But that's easy to get to because I have to have a compost, so. A red sun can set up the hand now. And we do some we do some funky stuff with these two and the compost uh, and the key master. The menagerie is for the pure. Because it's it's gonna be Countess. It'd be nice to get Countess off him. <laughs> Because I'll have no neutrals. Grab it. Cool. Hopefully, it doesn't have counters. Yeah, I'd I'd love to get a one drop copy of that. Did it? Reporting for duty. A red sun rises. Reporting for duty. Only one card left. Oh, I hope it's good. I mean, that's it. I can do this, 
this a couple of times to refresh the mana. I'll get rid of this card and get rid of the Orca. And then that's uh, a little bit of a funny, funky setup. Hopefully they still got it in the deck. And then I can make a ton of uh, invitations then. Oh, they're all gone. Okay. Reporting for duty. Cannot move quickly. Reporting for duty. Where'd my deck go? This must be the way. I'm going to mana, yeah. Alright, I'll wait one time. No rush on this. Yeah, we're just going to alabast and uh, <laughs> uh, rip a, a bunch of the cards from hand. For one mana. Copy four cards. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I'm only gonna copy this one more time, and then we'll just play the uh, the keys. No, not like this again. No more fucking horns, please. <laughs> ah, you didn't have Countess. <laughs> uh, I may be dead, but I'm gonna sound good. I'll sound good as I die. That that it might might be entirely too many. Um, Reporting for duty. Of those cards. <laughs> I mean, these are all sleepy, all sleepy cards. I wish I could see what that was. Tell me where it is. Ah, tell me where it is. Ba 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 
Poor soul. Well, you know. <clears throat> a few too many horns there, to be fair. Right. Should we have a little break? Do a little bit of quake. Can you call quake a break? I guess you could call quake a break. Gonna play a few games of quake champions and then we'll go back to a bit of hearthstone, eh? Oh no, it's just there. This you can sim simultaneously cast, and I think I have enough bandwidth to uh, to knock it out now. Hey, here's Quake. Here we go. Does anyone? Does anyone here play Quake Champions? You've been playing OG Quake for the last month. I it's, I I played on stream uh, when it was released. The uh, remaster remaster was really good. Uh, Quake Two remaster. I'm about halfway through. I think. Now we need the uh, Quake Three remaster, <laughs> which is <AKA> Quake Live. <laughs> nah, I'd love. Do you reckon they'll ever touch Quake Four again? I think Quake Four was probably the the least popular of all of the. The franchise. I'd love them to do a remake of what they did to like Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal to Quake One. That would be cool. Give it the full, the full updated treatment. Hey, look, there's Rafa. Oh, Quake, Quake Live? No, um, what was it? Uh, Quake Territories? What was the Battlefield type Quake game called? I, I played that when it was released and my internet was so bad that I was, I was just lagging it all over the place. But uh, Territory War, yeah, yeah. I used to play that quite a bit. I used to play Strog, Medic or whatever they needed. Oh yeah, I got Team Deathmatch. On Veil of Nath. Oh, let's play Scaly Boy, eh? I haven't played Scale Bearer for a while. I'll stick the category up in a sec, yeah. I'll just. Uh, play Scale. FPS not bad. <clears throat> Actually, should we have eyes in it? Eyes in kind of cheap on this map, I think. Prepare your team. <gasps> Little bit, uh, Teams are tied. A little bit of slowdown. Lead taken. I don't know if that's my PC or uh, a lot, well, probably is.
Lost. Bam. Yeah, I'm gonna like slice that run. Quad spawned. Enemy has the quad. Stop watch. I'll stay big. Your team has the quad. Couldn't move. I wasn't backed up against the wall there. That was bizarre. It's my ping fading. PC. It's not. It's not that old. Protection spawn. Like really struggling. Has the protection. With um, it says a hundred and around a hundred FPS. I think uh, visors up there. Rocket 12 damage just then. Incoming quad. Quad spawn. Enemy has the quad. I got range on that rail gun, eh, uh, lightning gun though. Enemy has the quad. And the man. I'll 
them be. What the fuck? Can you see me from there? I didn't even think I was visible on the uh... He must like just caught the top of my head. <laughs> Did I actually touch that? Must have. Protection spawned. Enemy has the protection. That's pretty bad Enemy first game. Uh, let me update the stream title on, on Twitch for a sec. Yeah, it's... Um, I've got a, 20, a 2070. And an i9. I forgot what model it is, but it should be... Like, that's... It should be, like... Easily run the bare minimal, but... I think as I'm on stream, I get I get a lot of um, stuttering. I think because you're capturing uh, and displaying the game, it probably taxes the. I guess it's the CPU more than the GPU. Just a warm up, lad. Just a warm up. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it is probably the CPU that's lagging more than the. Um, the GPU is. Favorite champion, uh, Quake Champions is definitely scale. I just, I just like, I like uh, the ability on him. Satisfying when you. Smash through someone. Vote now. Anyone want to play longest yard? Yeah. Yeah, if I upgrade the CPU, I'll probably end up upgrading the motherboard as well. Just upgrade to the latest socket. I don't know what the socket is in uh, in that motherboard. I've completely forgot. It's been a while since I've, I've touched it. One, fight. 
Whoa, yeah, it's pretty bad. That was very uh, delayed, though. Couple of directs. Shotgun out there for a second. Quad spawned. Your team has the quad. <laughs> Enemy has the quad. Teams are tied. Yeah, it's it's borderline. Teams are tied. Uh, lost. Unplayable. I think. If I were to restart the PC, it would be fine, but because uh, I've had it running, I've been streaming for uh, a good while. I think it's probably causing some CPU issues. Because I, I don't know if you can tell on... on screen there. I think I'll uh, I'll restart the PC and then just run the stream um, through Twitch. That probably will help. 
<laughs> for it to be a bit more playable. Quad spawned. Enemy has the quad. Your team has the quad. Fucking hell, I got shredded there. Right, I'm gonna uh, restart Riven because I might have like a lot of applications open and whatnot, um, and I'll be back. Because I, I do fancy a little go quick, but it's probably down to having like deck tracker and shit open and then having the stream PC running for quite a while. It's really sensitive with uh, with the application I'm using. So. I will continue, but I will be back in a moment. So I'll see you very, very shortly after a reboot. <laughs> 